Curiosity is presented by Nissan. Innovation for all. There is something evil lurking out in the cosmos. It's called antimatter. If one tiny drop of it met a drop of normal matter, it would explode with more force than the bomb at Hiroshima. The frightening reality is that the Big Bang should have created antimatter and matter in equal amounts. In other words, out there, there should be an antimatter twin to our universe with the power to annihilate all creation. There's just one problem. This deadly antimatter universe has gone missing. Joanne Hewitt is a theoretical physicist at the Stanford Linear Accelerator in California. She's a detective on the trail of this missing parallel universe. Where did it go? That's one of the big mysteries of science today, is where did the antimatter go? Every particle has its own antiparticle associated with it. It has the same mass as its parent particle, but it has all the opposite properties. Like an electron has an electric charge associated with it, so an anti-electron, which is called a positron, has the opposite electric charge associated with it. When antimatter and matter collide, basically you get a big burst of energy, just like boom. If the Big Bang created as much antimatter as matter, then one of two things should have happened to it. Any particles of antimatter and matter that bumped into one another should have been completely annihilated. But some antimatter and matter may not yet have met, and an explosive reunion could be coming our way. Curiosity, parallel universes are the real. Next Sunday at 8, only on Discovery.